We're here in Brown City, Michigan, outside of the Bruce Mansion. Built in 1876, the structure now has a local reputation for being haunted. We're waiting for Chris Bailey from the Grinstone Paranormal Investigation Team to come and give us access inside to see what really haunts this house. I'm John Waite, and we bought the house back in May. Uh, my wife was obsess obsessed with the house for many, many years. So we bought it. Oh, well, actually, we pursued it for almost a year before we actually got it. And then we purchased it with uh, hopes to do you know, a bunch of work with it. And then uh, Grimstone ha happened to stop by. We invited him in. They went through the house. Thought it would be a good thing to try a paranormal thing with it to see if they could find anything. And then obviously the granddaughter had come by with her friend and they were taking pictures and they caught an orb in there. Yeah, and so we took another picture and there was nothing there again. So that was kind of nice. Um, and that was interesting to all those guys too when they come in, we told them about it. But people always say it, there's, it's haunted and they always see something here. So yeah, it's uh, one of those things that everybody's wanting to, I guess they're interested in to see if there really is something, so. The paranormal activity that's been going on around here or that something that's unexplainable. Um, we had a couple couple places. Now in that room over there, um, there are about five of us that sit around in a circle, just kind of talking and stuff like that, trying to gain a feel of what was going on in the room. And individual in the group named Emily Beckley, uh, she was getting her hair pulled, and it was actually really strange because I was actually sitting right next to her, and you can hear her hair being pulled. And when she first told me that her hair was being pulled, I honestly thought it was a joke. And until I actually heard it, then I realized it was, it was real. This is a data acquisition device. Uh, basically, we set this up to measure temperature and humidity uh, for the house. It records every 10 seconds, so we can kind of get a baseline of, of our environment. It helps us keep a controlled condition in, in the home. Since we're doing most of the investigation tonight up here in the upper floor where we had the most activity last time, um, we want to make sure that we have the control environment here, and that's the reason for the data logger. Uh, it keeps us honest to our work throughout the night. Uh, other things that we are planning on doing tonight is both real-time EVP, which is electronic voice phenomenon, uh, plus we have a few cameras set up uh, to hopefully record some evidence that we're not alone here this evening. One of the things that's kind of unique for Grimstone is that we focus very heavily on training. Uh, we don't want just our, our investigators running around waving meters and hoping that it beeps and get excited about it, but we want them to under, understand the science behind the meters, what's significant, what's not. A lot of the answers can be determined um, when we first get to the place. When we first get to the place, we do like an initial walkthrough. Uh, we're taking notes, asking questions, kind of determine like where the where like some of the claims that the clients were saying what's going on. We kind of determine okay, that they said this. Well, okay, this is what's going on. Um, so a lot of the answers can actually be determined based on the initial walkthrough. Without the initial walkthrough, I think we'd be left in the dark a lot of times. You know, we we heard some things, saw some things. I mean, it's it's so hard to you know really determine. Is the place really haunted? I don't know, but I mean, it's something's going on that can't be explained. 